Okay, Google, turn on board. Okay, turning on the board. You don't have to be bored in math class! What am I going to do with those? Solve some inverse? No, solve some trig functions. Let's go. All right, so what do I need to do? Isolate the trig function, then take the inverse of both sides. So that's the cosine inverse of oh, four is the cosine two x. What's next? Well, what I do on the one side, I must also do onto the other. That's the cosine inverse of root two over two. Ooh. So left on the left side, when I invert the um, function, then I get out the argument. So over here, without a quabble, I have a 2x. What's next? Woo. Oh, ah, oh, what is that? That's um, pi over 4, the inverse cosine of root 2 over 2. Don't believe me? Check it! Blue face, baby. Yeah, um, clear. I don't know why it has to do that, but every time it gets in a video, it's got to be like, blue face, baby. Yeah, we all expected so much more of you. All right, so then this is the inverse cosine of root 2 over 2. That's pi over 4. Oh, sure, but wait, there's more. That's not the only place. There's a couple of places. Well, right there at pi over 4, the cosine is x, and that's the 1 half. And down there, it's also minus pi over 4, or in the world we call it 7 pi's over 4. Sure, so we explore the two possible solutions, that top solution, that bottom solution, 7 pi's over 4, but that's going to happen some more. That's also going to be plus um, 2 a pi, why? Because it's all the way around, all right, it's all the way around, all right, it's all the way around, all right. I solve these trig equations periodically. All right, and this one's also 2k pi. All right, finish him. Hakabalo. So then I go and I divide everything by two. So this is gonna be uh, pi over four times one half plus one half times two k pi all right and then down here this is seven pi's over four times one half plus one half times two k pi all right almost done i found my x wait don't do that Just leave him alone so then I'm down here. Uh, that's a uh, pi over eight great weight plus k pi. All right. And then this one down here, that's seven pi's over eight great weight. Add that to k pi. But we wanted all the solutions in zero to two pi. Can you see that? You see that? So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add pi to these. Oh. So explicitly, what set you claim? I claim this one. When k is zero, that's pi over eight great weight. And when k is zero, that's seven pi's over eight great weight. If I take an eight pi and I add a pi to it, oh, that's gonna be a nine pi over eight great weight. Well, if you need to work the arithmetic, do that. Uh -huh. And then an eight, a seven and an eight, that's a 15, sure is. 15, go go gadget, 15 pies over age, great weights. And then that's the set of all the solutions in the scenario of zero to two pi. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's go over here. Oh, sure. Um, um, the inverse of both sides. I know. I'm going to step that skip here in this white example. When I thought it was blue. <laughs> it's the light. It whites me out. All right. So then this is the cosine inverse of minus one half. And then I have to find out where that is. I guess I could go blue face, baby. Cosine inverse of minus one divided by two. Ooh. Blue face, baby. It says two pi's over three. <laughs> yeah, because cosine is x, so it's the half and it's an over three there. That's uh, two pi's over three, but wait, there's more. The inverse cosine is restricted, so it's also down there. <coughs> 
4 pi is over 3, tee 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 So here we see, we have our x is going to be over 2. That's going to be equal to, oh wait, 4, it's, oh wait, 4, 2 pi is over 3 plus 2k pi. Why? Because it goes all the way around. Because it goes all the way around. And then, this is 4 pi over 3 plus 2k pi. But then what do I need to do? I need to find my x. Really not even looking. Really not even looking. So there it is. Um, I'm going to multiply everything by 2. So then my x turns out to be, oh, so that's a, a 4 pi over 3, because I, I doubled it, yeah, plus 4k pi, all right, because I doubled everything, and then down here, I doubled that, that's, uh, whoop, 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 um, 8 pi's over 3 plus 4k pi, now, I don't know why, well, I do, because I'm thorough, I wrote out all the solutions. I should be looking at you because you can barely even see me. <laughs> yeah, so I wrote out all the solutions, but I'm looking for the solutions in zero to two pi. So you're out, you're out. And looks like I'm just gonna have, oh, you're not even in there either. Cause six pi's over three would be the two pi. So you're out too. Oh man, so we just got one. That four pi's over three. Tee hee, tee hee, and that's what set it claims. Now, I know that there's two more examples, but you're never gonna watch a 10 minute video, so that's the next one. Okay, Google, turn off board.